I'm back in Nullius. We have whew, made a lot of progress. Uh, I think we've kind of taken care of some of our gravel issues. We will probably still back up on gravel. I'm not sure. We might... Um, yeah, we'll just find out what happens. That was all last episode. Let's move forward with this episode. Uh, first thing I want to do... I was coming over here for something, but I forget. <laughs> oh, I know what the first thing is. I need to check that I um, actually supplied caustic solution to my aluminum, which I did not and no one caught except me. <laughs> I was checking the sound in the, the last video and noticed a disaster. Okay, but we fixed it now. So now there's caustic solution being consumed as soon as I start consuming aluminum. Uh, the other thing I wanna do is move this setup uh, here because I'm gonna be using uh, this little belt area. I don't know what you call it. It's like a, it's gonna be like a bus pretty much. <laughs> Full of resources flowing to the west right over where this stuff was. So uh, I'm gonna just pause it so you guys don't have to see it. And just like that, we're done. Oh, we need some lights, don't we? Let's put one right here so we can just see a little bit. Oh, well, you know, like there, perfect. Oh. Oh, I was still in fast mode. Oh, we've already wasted five minutes. <laughs> okay. Woo, but this video is only a minute and a half long. That's good. All right. Um, right. Let's see. The output. Yeah, it's going to be like that. Ah, and then the input now. What am I doing here? Something like so. Oh, uh, good. Good. Get those output belts split there. And then we'll get bauxite here. But I certainly want to get rid of the box set in my inventory. I like so. And give me the crushed box site over there. And what else do I have? Regular old sandstone. Wait. Oh, sandstone is not box site. Silly me. Oh, let's let's do something with this too, actually. Cause I think sand. Oh, it's sand and gravel, isn't it? Alright, let's do some manual rejiggering here. <laughs> And put stone here and uh, just take a big old bunch of gravel. This is so ridiculous. What am I doing? Big old bunch of gravel there. And now, um, what do I do? I want to assemble something that uses both sand and gravel, I think. Oh, no. It's not an assembler. I have to hand... Oh, I crush it. Okay. Phew. I can do it automatically. Landfill. And it's sand and gravel. Uh, I could also do more sand than gravel, but I think I like sand more than gravel. So, cool. Yeah, it's really interesting. This mod has a lot of different ways to get landfill, and typically you would use that in order to get rid of some stuff. So, like, you can, uh, instead of just dumping sludge into the l ocean or lakes or rivers or whatever, uh, you can make useful landfill out of it um, instead of using gravel and sand for whatever you can make useful landfill out of it. But I'm not super, I'm not super interested uh, in making useful stuff out of it. Okay, and then I wanna pick it up here. All right, so now we'll make landfill. How fast is this gonna go? Two seconds. And all right, so yeah, if I could do another inserter, I think we'll go through that stuff a lot faster. Cool. All right, guys, uh, wasting time, wasting time. What am I gonna do here? Ah, uh, yes, I wanted to make filters. And the way we need filters is carbon dioxide. Is this carbon dioxide? It is carbon dioxide, and that is what we need, right? Or is it monoxide? No, it's dioxide, cool. Uh, let's just do that then. And we'll bring it, uh, oh dear. <laughs> like this, how about? Okay. Okay, good. Carbon dioxide is coming up here, and then we also want um, graphite for the filters, which I think I just want going this way. Oh, look at that mess. <laughs> those are necessary, those are necessary, but we do want, need one set of underground uh, undergroundies going there. And cool. Okay. Sure, sure. Yes, so gravel, this stuff. Gravel. All right, now we need the landfill. Which, hmm, hmm. Right. 
There, right above my guy. Because I only have three left. I need to <laughs> conserve it. Oh, okay, I ran out. So, we will need the new landfill that I got. How did I know I was going to need that? Cool. And yeah, we're going to go through that sand and gravel, aren't we? Excellent. Whew. Let's go. Again, this is for filters. And the reason um, I'm focusing on filters is because we're going to continue working on our... Um, what's it called? Uh, fluid factory. Uh, we're getting rubber up this episode. Speaking of uh, things that I need to go through in the tech tree. <laughs> that was a terrible way of saying it. <laughs> Let's just go through some of this stuff. <laughs> silicon. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, silicon will probably be next episode. Who knows, though? And, yeah, we have aluminum, so let's go ahead and uh, get this aluminum working going. And then we can get insulation, and then we can work towards purple science. Look how close we are. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. Uh, electrical engineering research, I should say. Not whatever I said, purple science. Okay, so something like this for the filters. It is a chem plant indeed. And, oh, we need plastic and that's too far. Uh, but we can do this. Oh, and we can do this for the graphite. Uh, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> and then a power pole works and that reaches that and then that reaches that and then we just need Carbon dioxide, and we'll have filters. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, why aren't we going? Plastic. Oh, plastic needs to be shift L to reach. And then get the sand out of that inserter. Okay, cool. And those filters are pretty slow to craft, but we're going to get a lot of them before long. I think that should be plenty. I'm just noticing this red science in my inventory. Man, when I am trying to speed run, uh, things get lost. <laughs> I do not notice the stuff that I need to notice. All right, what else do we need over here? Probably nothing. I should probably automate some more stuff. It would probably be useful to automate auxiliary valves. Let's go ahead and just do that. Um, what's a fun way to do it? I know a fun way to do it. This is going to be great. We'll get top of valves going this way. And then we will... Let's see here. I think... I think I need a long inserter getting the iron wire off of this belt. I do indeed. Um, so, wait, that's not where, uh, I need it here with the belt, with the pipes. And flip that and long. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Cause the, um, the base was at the wrong Wait, actually, maybe it wasn't. I don't know what was happening. I didn't like the way it looked, but I think it was fine. All right, and then pick it up there and put it in a chest here. I actually wonder, can I then do top up and relief? We could, uh, but I need to get plastic down. That's kind of annoying. I could put it on a belt. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. We got, we just gotta do that. We just gotta. All right, let me stop uh, clicking on that and instead use my hotkey control R. All right, definitely don't need a ton of that. And we'll pick it up here. We'll put it on a belt. <laughs> and we're out of undergrounds. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game's so freaking fun. We need more pipes. Um, I'll, I'll get more pipes, but <laughs> that's later. We could, be, we could be dead by then. I say that a lot. That's from a uh, 30 rock. Uh, we could be dead by then. So like, don't bother doing stuff. That's the point of that hilarious quote. Okay. Um, or don't bother worrying about it actually is the context. Okay, and those are what? Top up valves, sort of useful. And then we need the <laughs> relief valves. <laughs> Super useful. And yeah, I think I'll just take it like that. And then we need the long inserter like so. Definitely don't need the plate in that inserter. In fact, it won't work if there's a plate in that insert. No, don't grab it. Control R, okay. 
And this is just a delightful mess, isn't it? But like, that's, that's just, that's just great. <laughs> and the reason I want to do that is because so many of these buildings require those weird valves. I think they mostly require auxiliary and top up, but you'll notice one way valves, one way valves, pumps are used in a lot of this stuff. Uh, let's see here. Auxiliary valves, auxiliary valves. Um, okay, so I guess that's it. <laughs> but it's it's like half of the stuff. We need a lot of it. All right, let's grab filters. We got plenty now. Excellent. Make some more of those. Oh, we should get a uh, medium tanks automated. We could also get steel stuff automated too. But I think the steel stuff isn't used for anything right now. I like automating things to cut down on my handcrafting. Pipes, iron rods, iron sheets. Iron rods, iron sheets, pipes. So yeah, we'll do it down here. Um, something like that. We can steal pipes from there. We can, uh, let's see. Um, yeah. Do that and then shift L to get the rods and then the sheets will be from that in center. Okay, and that was the I've already looked at this. We can't make these until we get medium assemblers. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. I've done it. I've done it before. I've done it before. And we can't get medium inserters until... Actually, have I unlocked it? No, it's this. Oh my gosh. So close, but so far. Okay, so I'll continue handcrafting medium tanks. Let's just craft a whole bunch. <laughs> And get some undergrounds, get some more pipes. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to handcraft a bunch of stuff that requires pipes. And then we can get to work on rubber, I think. I'm probably missing something, but oh well. Okay, now rubber is uh, a fascinating um, organic chemistry lesson because it is made from hydrocarbons. This recipe that we're mainly going to use is, what is it? Alkene synthesis. We're getting ethylene, propene, benzene, which are all hydrocarbons. Um, benzene, let's see, here's your lesson. Benzene is an aromatic, uh, aromatic hydrocarbon. It's one of the only aromatic hydrocarbons. I think toluene is an aromatic hydrocarbon. It's, it's, uh, what else would it? Yeah, I think it's T O T U L, something like that. T U L U O N E, something like that. So I guess it's in a different, maybe C block is what I'm thinking, or space exploration. I don't know where I've seen that. But anyways, um, yeah, it's uh, it's basically just benzene. I think is an aromatic, and then the non-aromatic hydrocarbons are what is it? Aliphatic, aliphatic. Anyways, that's not anywhere in this mod. I just thought it was interesting. And you see, this mod gives us the formulas. Um, hydrocarbon, meaning hydrogen and carbon. I think that's all it, that means. Maybe there's, I don't know, more to it. But you can see the ethylene C2H4, propene C3H6, benzene C6H6. Uh, oh, and that's interesting, actually. I never noticed that um, benzene was liquid and the other two were gas. So it's not just gases over here. Uh, we're doing... We're doing lots. All right, so, uh, and we need monoxide, right? Carbon monoxide, that's where we get our carbon from. And then our hydrogen comes from hydrogen, obviously. And then we put that together to make hydrocarbons. Cool. Now, where does the oxygen in the carbon monoxide go? I, I guess it just gets automatically vented. It makes sense that we couldn't, um, we couldn't get a fourth output of oxygen out of this distillery. That would be pretty, uh, pretty fun. Okay, and then the monoxide, monoxide. We're definitely gonna need more of this, aren't we? In fact, I can just do it now. And we'll probably need more, um, uh, what is it that we would need more of? Uh, carbon dioxide, yeah, carbon dioxide. And that's all working, huh? Cool. Okay, so now carbon monoxide, do I want it coming from here? I think I do. That's just dandy and we'll get the good pipes of which we have plenty, probably. Cool, okay. Um, let's see, hydrogen. Oh, if I do that, uh, move that distillery over a little bit, you can see we will get 
Hydrogen right there. That's fun. All right, let's go grab some more good undergrounds from right up here. And I feed that in there. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I could just um, stop that chest that's making my red undergrounds, couldn't I? Ah, that doesn't light up the important thing, does it? Oh, well. We are going to need more uh, distilleries making the carbon dioxide. Um, I think I might rejigger that. But oh well. That could be later. We'll be dead by then. <laughs> Love that quote. And I'm doing this so that I can copy and paste it. Because I'm definitely going to need more of this alkene synthesis. Oh, we're, already, we're already going. We've got enough hydrogen, I guess. Let's see. Okay. Now, uh, we need ethylene and... Let's see. Ethylene and benzene, basically. We're going to um, process those a little bit more to turn into our rubber. I think that's all we need, ethylene and benzene for the rubber. And then we need ethylene and propene if we want to do the second recipe for plastic, polypropylene, uh, which is definitely more efficient and faster. So less power hungry and it uses less hydrogen, I think, and less carbon maybe. I could be wrong about that actually, let's see. Well, I don't know, I don't think we're gonna be able to to tell from this, but if I use factory planner, I could probably tell, but no time. We're already 15 minutes in and I have done very little, <laughs> very little. I actually think I want, ugh. I think I want to move this. Now nah, we'll cram it in. We'll cram it in. <laughs> Let's see. I do want, oh boy, crud. Is that gonna work? I think we can make this work. I think, I think I can do everything I want to do with this. Like if I did a pipe, uh, what am I trying to demonstrate? The problem with this might be like if I pumped out and like that, you know, there's not much room to get around, but I think we're going to be okay. I do want to pump in everything and um, yeah, and that's all I need, right? Okay. So now we're pumping in everything. All right, uh, eventually I'm going to put relief valves like so. And then we're going to, uh, if these fill up, we're going to pump it towards some um, backup power generator because we can just convert all this to uh, steam. And let's see, we're out of hydrogen. Probably it's our power, right? Yeah, like our wind power dipped down, so uh, we were out of uh, hydrogen for a second there. All right, always be researching if we can. And we're about to not be able to research anything, which is just dandy. Just dandy. All right, so we can't just turn benzene and ethylene into rubber. We first need to get it into styrene and butadene. All right, so uh, what do you say we do styrene first? That's chem plant. And we'll b put it right here. Styrene, was it? Styrene, good. And it'll be straightforward. Benzene is on bottom. So we'll just grab it like so. And then ethylene is on top, so we can grab it like so. Oh, let's see here. Let's see here, because that's not the only ethylene we have, is it? This, right? Yeah, this is also ethylene. Uh, I want this to be my main source of ethylene, and I want to uh, top this up. So, will this reach one more? <laughs> that's why we have the red pipes. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's do a top up here. <laughs> the tangled web we weave and connect them like so and connect them like so okay so now this ethylene will flow into this tank if this tank is not completely filled up and then we want the output to oh brother go well, yeah, let's just, we'll just completely replace this 
pipe on the left side here uh, until we get about here. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why I use red and silver pipes so interchangeably. That probably annoys all, all of you. I don't care about that. And yeah, is this methane into ethylene? Yeah, I do. I, I want that to run and top this up, right? Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Okay, and then we're getting ethylene. Uh, I guess we need power in order to get ethylene. Is that right? We're not getting ethylene. Is that an underground? What's happening here? Oh, ah, that's benzene. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, that can reach. Okay, that can reach. And we don't want benzene in there. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. I don't know why I thought that was benzene. It looked more like a water droplet, and that looked more like a gas droplet to me, I guess. All right, we're making styrene, and we got more hydrogen we can inject back in the system. Why do we get extra hydrogen? Let's look here. Let's see. Styrene is C8H8, and ethylene and benzene combine much, must have uh, more hydrogen in it. C2H4 plus C6H6. So yes, we get a H2 out. Makes sense. That's cool. Okay. Now, where should we put the hydrogen? We want it pumped in. Oh, this hydrogen is not being, it doesn't have an input and an output. It's just all higgledy piggledy. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, all right. Because uh, these things pump out pretty significantly, so I'm not super worried about that. And yeah, we're not getting benzene because this isn't working because of our hydrogen, so understandable. Hopefully we'll get more hydrogen, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, and then styrene we can just pump into a tank over here, which is not being pumped, is it? Let's pump it. Pump, 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 pump it up. And I'm making, I'm being very careful to make sure these are expandable. So even though it's a very small setup right now, I'll be copying and pasting it downward. So I'm never going to block these up. Hopefully, hopefully never. All right. Time for butadine. Was it? What am I not? I don't have chimneys because I can't do stone bricks. Okay. Let's go grab some stone bricks since we have so many of them. I'll, also, I think I'm going to. I don't have the stone bricks in a buffer chest, do I? Because we did stone bricks last time and I never put it in a chest yet. So let me, why am I going in my inventory to look for that? I can do something just like so. Very good, stone bricks and just grab them here. All right. And we can go get more auxiliary valves so I don't have to craft those, huh? Dodge it. Very good. Distillery and that turns ethylene. Oh yeah, and steam. Interesting. Well, let's move this down so that I can put a little bit of steam above it. We need a combustion chamber for the steam. And then we need ethylene, right? It looks like we'll need a red pipe going that way. Actually, maybe we didn't need a red pipe for that. Oh well. I used it too late. And then I want to use propane, I think, because we're going to have a lot of propane. Well, we're going to have more ethylene. Maybe I should just burn ethylene for now. More mining productivity, I guess. I love this mod. It just gives you plus 2% mining productivity as just a way to burn through the um, the science that you can make pretty pretty easily. All right, what am I doing with this steam? Maybe hydrogen and oxygen? No, because I don't have hydrogen. Yeah, let's do propane, because the rubber is going to use benzene and ethylene, so we need something to do with our propane anyways. We are going to get plastic too up, but uh, yeah, we could be dead by then. <laughs> this is like the motto of this episode. Ethylene combustion. Uh, we do need oxygen as well, so it's nice that we have... Come on. It's nice that we have oxygen right here, huh? 
Oh, and it is... It is an auxiliary valve. Uh, I'm okay with that, though. We have plenty of... Uh, sorry, what am I trying to say? We have plenty of... Oh. Dag. Nabbit. <laughs> the darn pipe system is not just working out the way I want it to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carbon dioxide. Oh my gosh. The tangled web we weave when we first learn to deceive. That's, that's something, right? Oh, wait, is this monoxide? No, that's dioxide. Good. So the combustion takes in oxygen and spits out dioxide, carbon dioxide. Good. Okay. And then steam. We're not getting ethylene. Oh, it's propane. Oh my gosh. Propane, I said. Propane. <laughs> That's so funny how I said whatever I said. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Let's clean up this pipe a little bit. And ta-da. And we are getting some steam. Okay. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, so then this gives us butadine and hydrogen. So we'll need another. <sighs> another way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, looks like we can get hydrogen over like so. Oh, wait, or oh, that's hydrogen. No, because that could fill up. I want my hydrogen to be. I don't know what I want it to be. Uh, going into my input rather than my not input. Okay. And then we got a tank. And we will pump it in. Man. We don't have ethylene. We don't have it's ben no not benzene what am i doing man i am out of it today i'm just out of it today all right here's my ethylene right yeah uh no that's my top up this is my output for the ethylene and it was going this way probably because i intended on sending this over here here. I would love to get this styrene, but I guess the styrene can just go up. So we're good. <laughs> what a mess. Oof. This is not clean at all. All right. So we got ethylene. This is working. We've got butadine. We've got a little bit of styrene, but of course we don't have enough benzene because this hasn't been working this whole time because our power still. Oh, our water. Interesting. Let's get water. Oh, we've had so much wind. If we're not getting hydrogen now, when are we ever going to get hydrogen? We have plenty of hydrogen. It's because it has to run past all of this stuff, huh? And my methane is all gone. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's sucking up into the methane uh, so that I can make ethylene, pretty much. And fill up on carbon monoxide. Okay, well, this is a mess. It will eventually fill up, but yuck. I guess not not yet, huh? Well, let's just see how much rubber we can get. All we need is 20. All right, and should I pump it out? I don't see why not. I think this is pretty much all I'm using styrene and butadine for. Ah, okay, can't pump it there. Gonna have to <laughs> do this. All right, and then we'll come over here so we can pump it all together. Very nice. All right, and where are we putting this rubber? Good, clean. Oh. 
Hold on. Right like that. Good. I'm going to take it up to... Oh, we're totally going to rejigger this. And... Oh, there's probably a way to move this, isn't it? But I don't know what it is. Add tag, add ping. All right, hold on. I'm going to pause it. Okay, I figured out a way to move it. No, really, I just uh, t typed it in and did the icon. Okay, so this is going to be my intermediates. My mall's going to be here, and that works out well. I'll kind of start shifting stuff up, and then I'll start building stuff over here for intermediates, and then science will be all the way over here. Right now, my science is... My one lab is here, but when I unlock additional labs, I'll be moving it over here and then shuttling everything to the west, towards the sunset. Okay, um, so then let's do this thing. Let's just, uh, I guess I want to take, I want to take it the other way. Can I flip this? I can flip it. How do I? Wait. Uh, yeah, like that. Okay. Although, gosh dang it. Okay, we'll go this way. this work I think this is gonna be just fine we're cutting through the heart of my ore processing huh hopefully this doesn't mess me up here all right and then we'll cut over to the west I'm so bad at this Okay. I mean, we're going pretty far. I don't know why we're going so far. Uh, this will, I think this will be worth, worth it. Uh, yeah, I don't, hmm. I don't think I'm going to like want my, wish my rubber was down over here for anything. I think I just want it in my mall and science and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. All right, flotation cells. Okay. Okay. And how are we going to make this tileable? Cuz I would really like to tile it, eh? I think something like this would be fine, right? Um And then an output here. How fast is this? Uh, one every three seconds. So like one inserter like that is good. And then I don't know why I was about to get rid of that. So yeah, like something like that. Sure. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with it. And be very careful how I do this here. Oh, we just ran out of those pipes. I didn't even realize that. Crazy. Does that work? It's going to work. It's going to work. Except, you know, power, whatever. Who cares about power? I think I care about power. It's connected. <laughs> sure. Oh, we could get it. We could get it here. And then I think with landfill, I'm going to pave stuff. Oh, it didn't connect here, huh? I thought I had it, uh, I thought I had it going. All right, rubber baby, let's go. Awesome. Awesome blossom. All right. Uh, plastic two. And we are soon going to get our 20, aren't we? There we go, baby. Let's go. Uh, I don't think I care about dish. I guess it gives me more inventory space. Yeah, it gives me more inventory space. What is it? Rubber, inserter, steel plate. Easy peasy. And then we can get things like lubrication and insulation and boiling so that we can get solar thermal power. Oh yeah, finally gonna have enough power. We can 
mirror, combustion chambers, heat exchanger, boilers, and chimneys? Sure. I was looking for that earlier. It's chirality. Chirality. I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> plumbing to plumbing. We need medium tank twos, I think. We've probably done 10 pumps and 10 six relief valves. Okay, cool. Things are looking up for old King Adam. Let's grab, see what we need for plastic two. Uh, we just need propane and ethylene. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll do that down by my other plastic, I guess. Actually, ooh, I know where I want to do it. I want to do it right above here in my intermediates. Yeah, I'm going to do plastic with my intermediates. Uh, and I'll tell you why. It's because the um, uh, the gravel is going to tell me how much gravel I have right here is going to tell me if I use my new plastic or not. Because if I have a lot of gravel, let's see. If I have a lot of gravel, I want to shuttle all my chlorine into this mineral dust disposal that we set up last episode. And if I have no gravel, then I want to consume my chlorine with this plastic. So, yeah. Uh, I'll use that gravel with a wire, which I'm dangerously close to running out on. Uh, red wire, we're gonna need this electrical engineering. Okay, we're pretty close to it. Um, but still, I, I don't have a wire to, wire to spare. Holy crap, this thing is a mess. I did not realize. And we still don't have enough hydrogen. Maybe I should work on hydrogen first so that we can build up ethylene and propane. Actually, nah, let's let's get propane and ethylene up. All right, this is propane, right? And if I put it here, do I have any issues? I don't think I have any issues. Okay, and then if I get ethylene, oh, I already have ethylene coming up here. All right, good, good, good. All right, now my ethylene ends. So let's continue it. Continue it. Is that really the best place for that? That's ethylene, right? That's ethylene, okay. And then, okay, now I need to think. I guess taking Ethylene and propane next to this plastic belt makes sense. I kind of want to put it above the, uh, to the left of the aluminum. Yeah, like in my intermediate spot. So kind of below my rubber, I guess, or to the right of my rubber. I guess let's just put it up and then we'll connect it. Um, Cause what does it require? Flotation cells, more flotation cells required. Okay. Uh, good. Nope. Uh, flotation cells. And it's so dark. Come on. Plastic. Plastic. Oh, and we can do the same setup here, I think. Although we might need better inserters. Okay, uh, propene, ethylene, yes, those are hooked up correctly. Yes, yes, yes. And then plastic will run here, awesome. Let's, that should do the trick. With a splitter, which I don't have. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, get some split. No, <laughs> don't build belts, splitters. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? We're going to prioritize plastic one, but uh, then we will put a red wire and I'll take this down to the gravel. So I need um, power poles down to the gravel like that. Where'd my red wire go? There it is. Okay, gravel, 
Power pole. Power pole. Power pole. Power pole. So, uh, what did I say? If, um, yeah, there we go. And now we can stop the belt. We can uh, turn this on only when the condition is true. And let's see, we want to consume chlorine. So using this belt of plastic, the old plastic will consume chlorine. So we want to consume chlorine when we don't need it for gravel. So when gravel is low, we want to consume chlorine, right? Yes, when gravel is low, we want to consume chlorine. And when I say low, we can go a thousand. So right now, since we have a lot of gravel, we ideally would like all of this chlorine to be used to dispose of it. So we will use our new um, new setup, plastic setup. Uh, and I guess I'm gonna have all the plastic go on the inside. Uh, for now at least, and then we'll figure out what we want to do later. Okay, and that's one every half second, so we're good. Okay, so shall I then... I mean, I think we, we are going to want a lot eventually. Maybe I should just move it down now. Might as well. Might as well put it here, right? I mean, this is kind of in my ore processing, but it's fine. Is this helpful? This is helpful, bots. Do you appreciate me doing this for you? I don't know. Maybe they're like, "Wow, oh, we got it. We got it. Don't worry about it." Kind of offensive that I did that, huh? No, oh, whatever. <laughs> Leave those belts. Okay, so now I need ethylene and propene, and let's take them one at a time. All right. Um, six hydrogens is propene. Four hydrogens is ethylene. Okay, ethylene here and propene here, ethylene here. <laughs> ah, we can't get it there, can we? Okay, uh, we can go down to our sandstone. No, that's a bad idea. Oh, we'll just do this, I suppose. I've already forgotten which one is which. No, sludge. Okay, but we can come <laughs> this way. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. And, sorry. Yeah, ethylene is here. Oh, we should put a sensor tower up while I'm thinking about it. Ooh, we got all these display plates. I don't really know how to use them. I've never used them before. What is this, plastic? Okay. We'll figure that out later. For now, oh, and we got, oh, we got new ways to make power. Sweet. I want to set that up. But, no. Right now I need, oh shoot, what was I gonna do? I need, oh man. Oh, I totally lost it, I lost it. To check that this is ethylene, but I don't know. Okay, whatever. Man, sorry guys. And, hmm. Scooch that right under these belts here. Okay. All right, this is going to work. We're going to work. Ethylene is still on the... It's on the top now. I call it the inside. I don't know why I call it the inside. Is this ethylene? No, that's methane. Ethylene. Okay. Oh, the, ah, yes. I remember now. <laughs> the tower so that I can see from afar. And it is repairing... What is it, metallurgy, equipment? How do I repair it? Did I already repair it? I already repaired it, didn't I? Of course I did. I just needed to get it out of my inventory. And then, uh, probably like here is good. So I can see my mall. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And that has ethylene in it. Okay, good. So now we just need to grab This bad boy, okay. Oh, I did it, I said on the inside, huh? Or on the, what would you call that? The other side. Oh boy. And we got it. Oh my gosh, did that do it? 
Nope. Oh, because we don't have any propane? Yeah, we don't have any propane. Darn. <laughs> All righty. With the rest of this episode, let's fix the bottlenecks. Because I think we have enough power. I think fluid ingredient shortage. We're not getting enough seawater. Is that seriously the problem here? Of course it is. Of course it is. What a ridiculous... Is this a ridiculous problem to have? Okay, uh, we're gonna need probably just more um, hydro plants and distilleries, chem plants maybe, electrolyzers, who knows. All right. Oh, and pipes, yeah. Okay, if I, perfect. That'll reach. What about the bad pipes? Will that reach? That'll reach. All right, plenty of seawater now, hopefully. And we're making hydro plants. Man, to make hydro plants, we need seawater intake and yeah, pumps, and outfalls. Oh my. What are pumps? Should I put? Oh, I should totally put those in my mall, huh? And then I could do like seawater intakes in my mall. I could do outfalls in my mall. I could just do so much in my mall that I haven't done yet. All right, but these are working. Oh, so that's good. So we're getting lots of saline water. Yep, it's going up. Let's add another saline water distillery, I, I do declare. Could I do that? I can't do that. Uh, put them really close to each other, right next to each other. And then we just need to make sure we power it. Okay, good. And now we're getting more water, so that should help. And Alt X and check to see. Oh, actually, I can include the seawater intake. Okay, so we don't have enough seawater, really? We need more seawater, eh? Why did I think? Why did I think that was gonna be plenty? Who knows? But we can get more. All right, seawater's plenty, saline water's plenty, and product water. Uh, I could probably do another hydro plant and distillery. Let's do it. Uh, power is going to be an issue, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's like, yeah. We're out of pipes, okay. Well, let's just <laughs> let's do things right. If we're going to be out of pipes. Let's really be out of pipes. And then, am I gonna need more electrolyzer? I don't think so. Cool, okay, so this is all working. Um, yeah, we just need more pipes, we got more water, and who knows what the next problem is gonna be? Who knows? Who knows? Do I have enough of these pipes? I do have plenty of those pipes. And the red undergrounds I don't have. Hardly any of. Yeah, let's... <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that. Now that I'm shuttling all those pipes into the undergrounds, we should be, we should be better. Okay, where am I going to check on this stuff? Yeah, because I need to up my distillery, up my hydro plantage. And what's it going to tell me? No, no, no! <laughs> Alt-D and Alt-X are very close to each other. Alt-X is the max rate calculator. We're not getting enough saline water, so we would need more hydro plants. But we're close to using enough saline water, so I'm good. And actually, what we can do to help this... Oh, you know what? We actually do need saline water for something else. So, I'm not okay. Let's, let's add more seawater and... Um, hydro plantage. I think I might be out of hydro plant. No, I got another one. Phew. All right. Are we going to get better saline water at some point? Curious about that. Uh, Seawater usage. Uh, let's see. Saline water. Yeah, it doesn't look like saline you know, 
we're, we're not just gonna magically get a better oh wait we are gonna magically get a better <laughs> better recipe high pressure chemistry huh and distillation too oh that gives us brine oh I see yeah 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 so we don't need the um, saline water we can just get water and brine from it that's cool and then this one was even better so that one's gonna come first but okay yep <laughs> we just need a few more few more sciences so I'm not crazy for doing so many hydro plantings and we might need another wastewater outfall Nah, that's probably fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's try this one more time. Yep, we're getting lots of everything. Okay, and if we run out of saline water, it's because we're using some up somewhere for, oh, for this thing. <laughs> for my temporary glass, which is, which is gonna end. It's gonna end soon. Good, we've got a thousand landfill, sick. So that means I can pave over this thing here. I'll leave, you know, I'll leave plenty of little spots for uh, seawater intakes and outfalls and that sort of thing, but don't need nearly enough of that. Okay, we've got plenty of water. We don't have power, which is, you know, good. It's fine. Solar panels are coming back on. Wind turbines are coming back up. And uh, have these made any? Products finished two. Hey there. Two plastic finished. Let's go. That is not what we want, is it? <laughs> That's a problem is what it is. Um, I guess I could have like a bypass. Wait. Why don't I just prioritize this one? Prioritize the right side and then let the right side in only if the gravel is, is full. That's a better way to do it, right? I think I was expecting to not have this plastic and to have plenty of this plastic. I don't know what I was, I don't know why I did it that way. It's the same thing if I have plenty of propane, but I really don't have enough hydrogen. Oh well, uh, let's ramp up production of hydrogen. In order to tile this, I have to include the pump, huh? <laughs> not ideal. Okay. And I guess I only have a few. Oh, did I not get the, I didn't get the, wait, I did. Oh, I'm just not standing close to the, to the other side to put it in. Okay. And cool. We got it all there. Yeah. We definitely need a lot of this. I don't think we need a lot of styrene or butadine. I can put it in factory planner so you guys can check. Let's do that. rubber and plastic yeah let's just estimate how much we need of each I'll pause it for you guys okay just to give you guys an idea of the ratios we need so for three flotation cells worth of plastic and rubber each which is what we have um, we need one cam, pl cam plant much less than one chem plant making styrene much less than one distillery making butadine much less than one combustion chamber making steam. So that's uh, this stuff over here that I did. And then we need more than three distilleries um, doing the alkene synthesis. That's if we want the um, ethylene to be the one that makes everything. If we wanted the, oh, that's not how you do it, huh? I have to go here. Okay, if we wanna prioritize the propene, we need less if we want uh, benzene. Yeah, we, we get more benzene out of this. I wonder actually if I should change. Oh yeah, that's a significant amount of the propene actually being converted to steam. Let's change that to benzene maybe. It's probably better. Wait, why do we need some? Oh, it's saying that steam is a byproduct instead of the car. Yeah, we don't want to make our all our carbon dioxide from the steam. No, we don't. Okay, there we go. That's much more reasonable. Um, because we'll get carbon dioxide from the air, of course, not from burning benzene. Hilarious. Okay. So let's see. So we still have a benzene byproduct and a propene byproduct. Uh, we could check. Yeah, that gets the propene and the benzene ratio roughly right. Of course, that's assuming the um, that's assuming that 
the plastic to rubber ratio is right. So I really have no idea the proportions of benzene and propane that we need. This is, anyway, this is reasonable. We do need a lot more chem plants making carbon monoxide. Well, I guess we have four right now, so that's not too far out there. And um, yeah, I guess we need a lot of how, like hydrogen. Let's just check this here. Okay, we'll need, uh, so, oh, so they're twice as fast. So four is pretty close to what we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and of course this is if we want these running full time, which obviously we don't right now. So I think if we had enough power, we would have plenty of surge electrolyzers. It's really the power that we're out of. Um, and everything else, the ratio is pretty good. So I'm happy with that. And, um, oh, one thing that we can check and see is how much carbon dioxide we need. Cause I think we need a lot more carbon dioxide. Okay. Let's do that with the four minutes we have left. I'll make a carbon dioxide. Something that's a little more tieable. Let's just chop all this down. Uh, and where do I have the carbon dioxide? It's just going here. Right? Yeah, there's no other pipes leading in here. That's just checking. Okay. Um, I'll design it real quick. Oh, well. Uh, tell you what, I'll pause it while I design it. Okay, I think I came up with something pretty clean. Uh, I noticed, well, the ratio is uh, three air filters for two, or for, sorry, three air filters for one distillery. So for two distilleries, six air filters. And I noticed if I did three of them like this, it would perfectly line up vertically. So I can do six of them like so, put a pipe here, run a pipe like that and I mean that's about perfect I mean this part here is kind of kind of ugly and the um, the power pole doesn't reach uh, super cleanly but that'll work actually that's pretty clean and then I can just tile it down very nice I like it I like it a lot and then we'll dispose of the nitrogen all in one go. We do need a lot more of this, I didn't realize. Okay. Auxiliary valves and air filters I can't make any of because I don't have filters. Yeah, sorry, distilleries or air. Yeah, I don't have, I don't have filters. Okay. Uh, so we'll go get filters and then we need to make sure we have uh, stuff to do chimneys, which will just come over here, I think. And, um,. Put a bunch of chimneys over here, yeah? Like that. And I'm gonna need more than two, I believe. I think I need one chimney for each distillery, maybe. And we'll make sure they're powered. Darn. <laughs> make sure they're powered down here. <laughs> Perfect. And that's not gonna work because it is gonna work. All right, and then we'll connect the carbon dioxide right here. Cool. I guess I could move that up a little. Oh, well. No problem spreading it out. And then I can move that down. I can just keep going down as far. Well, okay. Not as far as I want because apparently I put the hydrogen and oxygen there. But uh, we can always copy and paste this thing to the right. I can flip it maybe. No, I can't flip distilleries. Of course I can't. All right. Let's go make sure stuff's hooked up. No, it is hooked up. It's hooked up very nicely. Uh, we can check that with the pipe what's it called visualizer something visualizer pipe visualizer that's the mod hydrogen carbon monoxide cool that's fun and then nitrogen is being vented and let's go grab the filters and stuff and then end the episode all right grab some valves too i like i just like having <laughs> All these valves in my inventory, huh? And then we'll be able to craft stuff. I do need a bunch of auxiliary valves, don't I? And those stack to 200, so good. Uh, inserters we're fine on. We do need um, undergrounds. So we'll go to get pipes too. And it was the filters that we needed. Okay. And good. Now we can make a whole bunch of this stuff. And go get pipes 
and finish that thing. Finish the thing. Should I get gravel out of here? Sure. All right, guys. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this bit of uh, organic chemistry lesson. Yeah, what should I call this episode? I don't know. I'll call it something awesome. We've got rubber, sort of. We've got plastic, sort of. <laughs> we don't have enough power, right? Because we have water. Oh, out! Oh, oxygen's full. No, why is oxygen? F ah. The chimney's working overtime, eh? Well then, that's good. So we should be getting some hydrogen then, is what that means. And yeah, we'll just, uh, that's the problem when you queue up a whole bunch of stuff. How much, yeah, how much do I need here? That's how we look, right? I think we're not. We're, we're still got, still got some in the tank there. Okay, there we go. We're good. That didn't do anything. All right, uh, an excellently fun episode. Oh, I still need to always be crafting. Always be crafting. Okay, and uh, this is where I'll end it. I need to go get something out of my oven, actually. <laughs> but we got two more to go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, let's go. Let's go, more air filters. And this is all gonna be working, right? Oh, we need the chimneys too. Do I have enough chimneys? Yeah, I, I'll have enough chimneys. I'll have enough chimneys. And then I gotta go get my meatloaf. Delicious meatloaf. Mm, that's probably my favorite food. In fact, I'm sure it is. All right, so we got more carbon dioxide and we'll be able to uh, copy and paste that. In fact, I'm going to copy and paste it right now because it's fun to copy and paste things. And then I'll just stand here and let's see, we need four of those. Ooh, out of chimneys because we're out of iron rods, fun. All right, guys, uh, this is where I'll end it. And then at the beginning of the next episode, probably some of this stuff will be up and I'll have to go get iron. Maybe I should just go get iron now. Let's go get iron now. Sorry, bots. <laughs> Sorry, bots. And, oh, I need all this stuff, don't I? Okay. All right, back down. We're cutting into next episode's thingamajigger, aren't we? All right. Oh, but we have lots of stuff to put down. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Take care, and I'll see you next time.